At the National Institute of Standards and Technology, just outside Washington, D.C., there exists a mysterious, vault-like structure with thick cinder block walls, a single narrow slit for a window, and a massive door keeping the curious at bay. Believe it or not, all of this protection is needed for a small block of silicon the size of a soda can, an important tool in the development of advanced materials for tomorrow's technologies. But the vault's days on the job may soon be numbered. That is, if researchers at NIST's Center for Neutron Research and the University of Waterloo's Institute for Quantum Computing in Canada have their way. The silicon block currently housed within the NIST vault is the heart and soul of an instrument known as an interferometer. It's a device that allows researchers to use neutrons to study the nuclear and magnetic structure of materials just like doctors use x-rays to examine the internal structures of the body. Well, we can look at a multitude of materials. We can look at magnetic materials for use in electronics, hard drives, and more efficient, uh, better and new type of electronic devices. Neutrons, which have no charge, cannot be focused by glass lenses to form images the way that light beams can. Instead, scientists use a silicon block with three precisely machined thin blades that act like mirrors to direct the neutron beam onto its target. Unfortunately, these blades are extremely sensitive to temperature changes and vibrations. That's why NIST has been conducting its neutron exams inside the protective vault, a structure that features special shock absorbers and temperatures kept constant to within a few thousandths of a degree Celsius. And the problem is we have to uh, maintain the initial conditions of the interferometer for uh, weeks or even months or even years at a time. Also complicating the process is the fact that all of the shielding from environmental hazards kept the interferometer much too distant from the source of the neutrons. So we have a neutron source which is far away. So only a few neutrons come to this specific location because most of them just uh, go all over the place. That's why there is only a few neutrons come to that device. So we, we have to do our measurements very long time. The NIST Waterloo team, however, found a novel way to sidestep the problems with the current system. They discovered that the stability of the silicon block could be dramatically increased by simply adding a fourth blade at an optimal location. So with the new four-blade interferometer type, we're able to move within about a half a meter to that same source. And so that increases your uh, intensity by more than a factor of 10. The amount of improvement is so impressive that the new interferometer will generate data that is far more accurate than before in a fraction of the time. And best of all, it can be housed inside a box the size of a small refrigerator instead of the massive and complex vaults. What it means, like we have some experiments which runs for several months and we can shorten each of this experiment to just a few weeks. So usually when we run one or two experiments a year, we can run now 10 experiments in a year. So we can perform better, we can study stuff which we actually never studied before because we didn't really have a time to do it. And that's good news, because the neutron interferometer is one of the best tools around for studying thin films and materials made of many thin layers, items that will be critical for the next generation of electronics, medicines, automobiles, and many other technologies.